Hello everybody and welcome back to Privacy Gaming and more Hearts of Iron 4. Poland Strong playing as the Commonwealth. Germany has fallen, Italy has fallen, almost the rest of the Balkans have fallen. Gotta get a little bit of Turkey as well. Uh, but really our only main threat left in the game at this point is none other than Japan and China with their big co-East Asian prosperity sphere thing, I don't know. Whatever it is, we gotta take them down a peg if we want to win this game. We could technically fight the allies over some land as well, but let's let's try not doing that because I haven't exactly gone for the naval game up until this point. All right, so we're just gonna finish off a bit more of Greece. We are gonna start taking down Turkey if at all possible. Uh, you guys actually might be able to push up towards Sinop. You guys get to let's say Ankara. You guys can get around over here as well. I mean, I would like to get. And as many of these victory points down as possible. Finish off Izmir, of course, and then the Germans will have zero presence left in the game. Um, now, because this is a war between the Axis and the Co-Asian Prosperity Sphere... Wait, what is it called? Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. Okay, that one, yes. Because it's two separate factions, I think that the war with the Axis might result in us actually getting the, to uh, take their land and still be at war in a technically a separate war against Japan. We're going to find out that in a little bit. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to take out of all that, honestly. I'd like to take over as much of Germany as I can. I'd like to create some new puppets down in the Balkans, and I'd like to eat turkey. That's going to be my goal as far as fighting the Axis, but as far as Japan? I don't know. Maybe take over Manchuria and Korea? That's probably about all I can hope for. I wouldn't mind establishing a presence somewhere in Southeast Asia so I have a supply of rubber. Because it turns out rubber's a little bit difficult to get. Anyway, so now that we don't have as much of a uh, fight in Europe itself, Europe proper, I am migrating most of my troops toward the Japanese line, but I'm not necessarily sending them directly to the front line. I'm having some fallback lines over here because I know that supply is going to be a huge issue, especially once I send my 40 combat with divisions in there. So for now, I think it's all about uh, the defensive like entrenchment and containing the Japanese. While in the meantime, we need to be building up as much infrastructure in these areas as we can. Down here, for example, not nearly enough. We're going to need some more. Um, there's no clear path for the supply to get down from my capital, it looks like. So we're going to need to build out some along here, I think, as well. Create a path of at least five infrastructure wide, something like this. Sure. And then we need to do some over here. That's already at five. Need some more here. Wait, where's... Britain has some land over here, right? Yeah, okay. So, infrastructure over here isn't a bad idea either. That's all sort of okay. And then... We'll need to find a good path up here to Siberia. I think I've got... I think I've got a path that goes all the way up to this point. This needs to be built out. No, wait, we've already got five down here, so it'll flow this way. Down here. Up here. Just make sure these supply trains are set up. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, something like this, and then, yeah, we need a lot more up in this area as well. Siberia, believe it or not, not extremely developed. I know, it's crazy. Who would have thought? All right, so this is the infrastructure we need to be building if we want to have a good, solid front line to use against our enemies. So we're going to go ahead and just make infrastructure top priority numero uno. Numero uno is what you're supposed to say. It's fine. Um, yeah, okay. This seems all reasonable enough to me. And now we just sort of sit back and get all the troops in position. Japan's probably going to push us back a little bit, but really, what can you do? Uh, you could do a lot of things, but we're not going to do any of them. Let's see. Unassigned divisions, eh? Well, more mechanized. I guess I'll assign you over here for now. Um, Greece... Looks to me like we've more or less finished you off over here. These guys are already on their way. Let's make sure that these guys pop up over here. And then go this way. Mechanized, you can go this way and clear it all out. Looks like Greece is already getting all these islands. So I'm going to have you guys just go push through here instead. See if you can grab that city. You're not making a whole lot of progress. Looks like the Germans are redeploying a little bit in Turkey around Istanbul. Because they don't want to die. Who would have guessed? Um, we could go for a little cutoff right here, actually. It looks like you've left yourself more or less wide open. So if I can cut off his troops here in Syria, that also makes my life a little bit easier going forward. How are we doing in terms of supply? Uh, pretty decent. Mostly just lacking a lot of the rubber. 
Uh, we have a freaking ton more factories we could use, but I don't think we're going to gain much, because the only stuff I want to be building, really, is going to be more fighters, and probably more motorized, actually. Because I think we're going to have a deficit of that. Yeah, we're upgrading all the mechanized, I get that. But we have a deficit of, of motorized, and we need to keep our guys at full fighting strength. So that has to be top priority still. You walk into Samson. We'll try to meet up here in Sinop if possible, get these guys sort of cut off on the coast. Uh, it doesn't look like we're making a whole lot of progress. Let's add some more combat width there. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. It might happen. We got some tanks down here that would make uh, things pretty quick as well. Let's see. I'm going to have you guys try pushing in that away. You guys assist here. Okay, so he's going to get flanked. I think that the Allies should probably be able to handle everything else that's going on in Africa. I don't think they're really going to need my help. Vichy France hasn't fully fallen apart down here either. Looks like the UK landed and is heading toward Cagliari to get Italy fully out of the war, so that's going to be nice. Uh, we were not finished here. Let's grab that real quick. Don't think we need any of these front lines anymore either, since we're obviously not fighting Greece at the moment, so that actually should free up a whole bunch of troops nearby. So let's see. I'm going to have you guys... Uh, let's create another fallback line up over in this general vicinity and kind of move them up towards Siberia, I think. Dark Blue, let's assign you to go and assist in taking down the rest of Turkey. Give you a quick plan. Something like this. We can finish them off. The rest of these guys, I think, already have jobs they are going to, so I'm not too worried about any of that. Crete, I'm not going to bother with naval invasions of Crete. If Greece wants Crete back, they can do their own dang lifting, all right? Now, for some reason, I actually got some of their land, which is hilarious. Huh. Uh, we could modify the government. You know something I'm going to do instead, though? In preparation, we're going to go ahead and justify a war goal here against Mongolia. Because if we find ourselves getting stalemated, adding in another front line by fighting Mongolia and suddenly being right up in the back door of China, that actually could end up being helpful to me. You never know. Let's see. Still lacking them factories. I think we are going to end up wanting more fighters and also more motorized. Not that it's going to do me a lot of good, because unless I get some more rubber, really, what, what's that good for? Nothing. It, it does nothing. Yeah, uh, it's, it's amazing, really. Japan did a fantastic job of control... Whoa. Controlling the world's rubber supply? Oh, okay, yes. That's the worthy axis done. Sweet! All right, finish. Love it. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab... Some of this cheap land here in Turkey for myself. Okay, so my borders are now filled in. So the question is now what do we want to do? I could take land up here in Germany, or before the Allies get to it, I could start puppeting people. I don't think I care about holdings in Africa. Not really. I mean, there's some rubber down here. Eh, but I don't want to control that. Let's instead try to create some puppets. I'm going to puppet Greece and Bulgaria. Kind of at a bare minimum, we get to control this. Um, I want to eat Slovakia myself. Could I possibly eat Yugoslavia? Puppet. Not quite. Close, but not quite. All right, we've got a little bit more points to work with. I could take things like Danzig and stuff now. Anyone else I can puppet easily and cheaply? Slovakia? Don't really want to. Turkey is mine. Croatia... Can't quite puppet you either. All right, so this is all I can do for my first turn. Pass. All right, so Greece is mine. That's awesome. Um, retake my own cores. We'll do that in a minute. Bulgaria. I'm going to feed you the rest of your land. Wait, you know what? No, hold off on that. For myself, Yugoslavia, puppet, take... Croatia, puppet, take. And then I think I will go ahead and start eating some land myself. I'm going to certainly take over the rest of... I can't quite get to Danzig. All right, end turn. Pass, pass. This is a risk. Pass. All right. So, let's start with feeding our vassals. Greece, you get your cores nice and cheap. Same here with Bulgaria. So, that's going to be done. 
Croatia, you get the rest of your land back. And also this. And also this. No, that's too expensive. Hungary is not allowed to be a subject. Hungary exists. Why? All right. Well, apparently me eating uh, Hungary means nothing to these people. That's fine. Let's go ahead and start pushing up this way. We're going to grab up to Berlin and Brandenburg, grab some of the aluminum, expand my borders into Germany proper. And turn. Pass. Pass. Eat. Slovakia. No one gets to puppet that now. Make sure we eat more of Germany, get Bohemia, get Moravia. Going for supplies as well as territory and factories at this point. Slovenia has been released. Well, that's an interesting choice. Tyrol, okay. We can get up to um, we can get up to Austria. Can't quite get that far. Could take South Tyrol and stuff. Get up to Venice if we wanted to. That could be kind of fun. I think that's all we can do at the moment. And turn. They're going to release Germany as a subject. Almost certainly we're going to have West Germany. It's just too expensive. I'm not sure how I can stop it. Pass. Okay, they've created another nation down here. Border Gore. Pass. Created another nation. So Yugoslavia. We need to give you some land back. I'm going to give you Albania as well. So you get to be a little bit larger. Alright, and then for myself. Franken. Württemberg. Sure, we'll get the Maginot Line. South Tyrol. Get up to Venice. Okay. And you know what? I am going to go ahead and take the African Holdings. Because I wanted to be a new colonial power. Boom. I will also eat uh, Cagliari. Because you have rubber for some reason. And I could really use some rubber. Anything else down here? I guess there are deserts and stuff I could take. Do you guys... You have some rubber? But I don't think I care about it that much. So, what can I eat now? Frankfurt? Can't quite get to Hanover. And turn. Oh, okay. See, they released the German Republic. Knew that was going to happen. Pass. I could eat Italy instead. That's an option. They did release uh, Italy as a puppet. Pass. Take that. Pass, pass. Lombardy. Pass, pass. I got that. Sicily? I take Sicily. Okay, so I've got some Mediterranean holdings. That's fun. Looks like Ethiopia has been released. I don't think there's much else that I want or could take at this point. And that's it. So that's the end of the war with the Axis. Germany falls! Poland be victorious! Poland is strong after all. So the German Republic stuck over here, but I get the lion's share of Germany and also some of Northern Italy. That's kind of fun. Not to mention I get to expand my faction a bit. So we got a couple of new members. The Allies did release a couple of people. Who are these? Bosnia, Herzegovina, Hungary, and Slovenia. But I have Croatia, Yugoslavia. You got Montenegro. I've also got Bulgaria, Greece. And then I own the rest of this. This looks pretty nice. And all of Turkey is mine too, which makes me feel really good about my situation. Nice. All right. So that means we can actually bring all the troops to bear against the Japanese. Not that it's going to do me a whole lot of good. Unless I'm able to get that infrastructure built. So, I don't know. Uh, maybe we just sort of sit back and, and wait for a little bit before I even bother redeploying all the troops. I mean, I guess we can send them in closer in this direction. I can't deploy them anywhere. I certainly can't deploy them in our main um, in our main uh, supply zones because then they'll eat everything from everyone else, but still. I'm going to have white come up over here. I may not want light blue up in this direction. That might be a mistake. Dockyards. Do I even have the ability to build any good ships? No, I can just build lots of submarines, basically. Alright, you know, if you can't afford to build a proper navy, going all in on subs is not usually a bad call. And then, yeah, we'll just build some more convoys, I guess. That all seems fine. Okay, um... 
Still nobody else managed to get much rubber out of that. I guess France got some. I'll trade with you. Could use a little bit more tungsten. Could use a little bit more steel. Just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Not too bad. Expeditionary forces from Legionary Romania. By all means, send me 33 more divisions. Sure. Why not? That sounds great. Whole new army set ready to go. Um, what I'm probably going to do with you, then, is just allow you to be my suppression army. So as we take land and people start getting a little mad at me, we can have the Romanians be the one to put them down and bash in people's doors and be their secret police. And no one gets mad at Poland. Yes. This is a sensible course of action, I believe. I'm missing a couple. There we go. Nope, there's more. More Romania? I thought you only sent me 33. It looks like you sent me 34. No, I messed one up. You're supposed to be with dark blue. There we go. Okay. Solved that. Figured it out. We're fine. Um, we also... Oh, Liberia joins. We are also going to want to set up some air bases. In kind of a forward location. Sort of like this. I don't know if I want to put it in a not fully controlled state. More like this. At least level 5 there. Maybe level 5 up here with Mongolia. And level 5 up over here, I think. These air bases are going to make for a good four point for air superiority, as well as some close air support, make my life a little bit easier. Uh, we probably do want to start researching paratroopers as soon as we are able to. Because without a navy, my only hope of actually landing in Japan if the Allies can't do it for me would be to actually drop some troops by air. So we will want to research that and train some new ones up ASAP. Uh, we are still trading up some light tanks for some reason. I guess I'll continue with that, though it doesn't seem like a very high priority. Uh, we are gaining like 13,000 manpower per month. But we're still running a bit of a deficit, so I may have to change my recruitment law at some point as well. Mayhaps. Not, not too sure on all that. Uh, let's see. Air bases build very quickly, fortunately. What are we doing right now? Construction repair? Construction repair is good. I may want to go for construction engineering instead to speed up the infrastructure so we can win the war sooner. So we're going to switch over to construction engineering. So that should speed everything up by another, what, 20%? 10%? Let's see. 10% for infrastructure. And 10% for the air bases. Okay, so well, whatever. A 10% increase is not that bad. Military access with our former enemies, now the German Republic. Alright, sure. You are allowed to send what Peasley troops you have to the front line and fight the Japanese. Enjoy your capital of Hanover. <laughs> you, you're no bigger than the, than the Low Countries. You're practically the next Netherlands. <laughs> ah, the mighty have fallen. It feels so good. And it's also kind of nice to just, you know, partition land a little bit too. Typically in Hearts of Iron 4, I blob like crazy, but once you get a certain number of factories, there's not a whole lot of advantage to continuing blobbing, because the main reason you blob is for the, uh, the factories and the production, right? But once you get to, like, 500 factories, that's more than enough for, like, the rest of the game. You probably will never need more. And you don't gain an absolute ton of manpower out of non-core states. So you might as well, then, just release people, let them get their full manpower pool, and actually train up new troops to help you. At least that's always been my philosophy. We're going to go ahead and hire the smooth-talking charmer for our trade deals. And that actually should improve how much resources we are gaining from our trade. Which means I actually don't need to trade for quite as much. So we can stop trading with the United States now. Everything else looks like we're still sort of okay. Anybody else got any rubber? Not everyone's able to deliver, unfortunately. We are still researching the synthetic oil experiments. Takes a while. But we'll get there, dang it. Justifying a war here against Mongolia, that's going to be pretty easy. Japan is pushing me back, but mainly because I'm kind of spread thin here and don't have a lot of troops in position. Freaking infrastructure, man. It's got a, it's got a long freaking way to go. But we are absolutely going to need that supply. Montenegro, sure. You want to send me motorized? Please do. Somalia? All right, sure. Republican Italy? Sure. India? Sure. Bosnia-Herzegovina, nice flag. I've actually never seen Bosnia-Herzegovina get released before. That's actually kind of cool. Um, so how are we looking in terms of supply down over here? Okay, we're pushing it with the 40 combat widths right here. 
and they're not even on the front line. They're already having problems with supply. Kind of tells you just how bad this is going to get, right? Um, probably should increase the infrastructure up there a little bit so we just don't take unnecessary attrition. Improved rocket engines is done. Awesome. Uh, do we want to go... I'm going to use my ahead of time bonus on the advanced. No, we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and get started on the paratroopers. I'll come back to that. Not like I'm using jet fighters right now anyway. We're a good couple years ahead of time on that too. But I'll get an achievement as Poland if you get all jet technology. Because Poland can into space. Gotta love how Paradox is even in on that meme. Maybe they created that meme. I don't know. I don't know the origins of these things. I just know that they're a thing. Sure, non-aggression pact with Republican Italy seems fine. You want to send me something, I'll take it. I don't know what it is. Hungary, sure. Ethiopia, sure. Who's in charge of Ethiopia? I'm curious. We'll die. Eh, okay. I was wondering if it'd be a name I'm familiar with. Logistics companies are upgraded. Awesome, that reduces our supply a little bit further. Uh, could upgrade things like our maintenance companies for liability. Which is okay. At some point, I'm not sure how much good that's going to do me, but it's okay. I could research the modern tanks. Improved anti-air. Could get the jet engines now. Doctrines. Naval mission, strategic bombing, interception detection. No, I don't know if that matters too much. We're already working on everything I care about over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get ahead of time on this night vision, since that's the main combat bonus kind of left to me in the game right now. Japan apparently just started executing their orders. They actually are starting to push me back a little bit, and then they lose. As soon as I can get some planes in the area, we'll be fine. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and start disbanding all my air wings. Uh, disband all, yeah. There's no point. I mean, it just goes right back into your stockpile. It's not like losing troops permanently. It just makes it easier for me later to kind of form the air wings that I want in the correct location. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And something I just remembered. I'm not sure I'm producing the right bombers. Interwar bombers? No. I need strategic bombers. These guys here, for example. And I may actually want to go ahead and create a new version with some extra range. Because more bomber range could actually be helpful to me. Maybe not that much, though. Alright, let's go ahead and start producing the Mark I strategic bombers. I'm not producing any at the moment, but if we want to drop nukes eventually, we are going to need some of these. So let's go ahead and start producing those next. Um, as far as fighters, we do have a bit more XP. Like, I could I could take the Mark I and upgrade it a bit. More engine. Range is apparently more important than I give it credit for, based on some comments I've been seeing. I still like the agility. But yeah, a little bit of extra range actually makes a difference. So we're going to go ahead and move you up to Mark II's. Start improving our aircraft. Everybody else, there shouldn't be any troops that are just left here. Yes, there are. Who are you? You are this army. All right, this is the Romanian army. Right, right, right. Fallback line up in Georgia, I guess. I don't know. You guys all sit tight up here. Why are none of you assigning where I told you to? Go here. There we go. Who else we got? Am I missing somebody? Looks to me like yes. You don't have any orders. You're defensive in nature. I'm going to send you to go and assist up over here, I think. You don't have any orders. Going to assign you to join up over here, I guess. Infrastructure, how are we doing? Okay, we've improved a little bit up over here. Having six here probably doesn't do me a lot of good, just because everything downstream is only at five, so it's going to bottleneck before it reaches this point. Case in point, you can see it turns red here, I think. Looking a little bit better in this area, at least. Yeah, redeploying a massive amount of troops does take some time, doesn't it? Oh, good, we got troops up over here. Okay. But our supplies are going to be really bad. Yeah, sure enough, supplies are looking just awful. We have a lot of lines of infrastructure that are building, but I could really use more civilian factories, too. Still nobody delivering on the rubber for me, because Siam and Japan own all of it. Kind of sucks. 
we can get a little bit more infrastructure down over here. I feel like we can send some tanks to possibly go and fight. Like, we can possibly get some tanks over here. So, purple, for example, if I were to give you a front line right over, let's say, here. And all I assign are your tanks. Could I just send the tanks and not take up too much of your precious supply? And maybe start punching and get some encirclements? Like, if we can push down over here, for example, and circle all these guys with no ports, that would actually be very advantageous. Kind of like that idea. I'm going to go ahead and narrow you down a little bit, though, so we can punch a bit more focused fire. Ground support integration is done. Awesome. We do have some more light tanks ready to go. I'm going to sign you over here. Uh, do I care about the rest of this? Eh. I've actually heard, by the way, that strategic destruction might be the new meta. Like, for most nations, which is really surprising to me, but that's apparently the thing. Let's go ahead and get the advanced rocket engine, since it is ahead of time. We'll get our achievement, pull in the cannon into space. Um, and you know what? We're already f fabricating on Mongolia, but just in case Tanu Tuva does not join the war, I would like to go ahead and start fabricating a claim against them as well. So, you guys are very low organization because of the attrition. At least your supply looks okay because we're not fighting. So that's something. You need to push back here. We're in the red in this area. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I might need to pull at least a couple of you back. Nope, nope, nope. Nope! Pull you back like so. Get the white troops out of there so we don't take quite as much uh, attrition in that particular region. Alright. Tanks, have you arrived? You're about to arrive. Okay, and all of a sudden supply is actually still fine. Awesome. Okay, yeah, we've still got some troops down here. Perfect. Let's actually go ahead and continue just trickling some more troops in. We'll go ahead and add a little bit of mechanized into this army. It says we can support a fair bit, actually. So we'll send a few more. I'm going to recharge my fuel a little bit, and then we're going to launch an offensive. I want to see these guys walk into the zone and make sure we're okay. Yeah, we're completely fine there. Freaking perfect. All right. A um, little bit more mechanized like so. All right. Tanks, you guys should be able to start focus firing. Wait, hang on. I need to make sure I'm only selecting the tanks. I don't want the defensive troops taking up my valuable combat width. Okay, hang on. That's not great, but then if I were to create some air wings... With some of our good fighters. Like, let's say 600 fighters or so. Air superiority in Pakistan. And then set up some close air support to support them. Um, where's the good ones? Is this mine? It's mine. I just don't know if it's the good ones. Fine, we'll send 400 here. And you'll do close air support to support here in Pakistan as well. So if I can get the air superiority and the extra advantage of the close air support, we should be able to start doing a lot more damage. Okay, the planes have arrived. So looking here, they don't have the air superiority and we do have our air support. So we should see that we are doing a lot more damage now. His defense goes down by 20% just from the air superiority. I mean, that's not, that's not bad. And then we have a couple of reserves here too. It'd be nice if we could find a way to punch through and encircle him a bit. Okay, are we now taking attrition? No, we still have supply. We're fine. Military access. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to sign anything with Hungary. We might eat them. Netherlands? Yeah, I'm not going to fight you. Liberia? Sure. No. No, I might want to eat the Balkans. No. No. Sure, Canada. I don't know who you are. No. Slovenia doesn't get to move troops in my territory. All right, looks like we actually were able to shatter this. Hey, look what the close air support can do. Makes a difference, doesn't it? All right, you now support, so we have a flank. There we go. Look at that. Now we're crushing. 
Now his defense is the heck out of here. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're pushing forward and we've got the mechanized to support. Let's push through the tanks as well. Of course, we're going to start having supply issues because now we're in a separate region where I do not control all of the uh, all of the infrastructure and the supply. So we need to be careful about that. Tanks, fight here. Okay, should be able to push you out. Here we go, here we go. Let's have you guys push this way. Uh, if you guys can rush up here to the side of the river real quick, and we might just follow the river down. To Karachi if we can. Still looking okay-ish supply-wise. Can't field much more here, though. Okay, you've done good. Now you need to push down this way and also get to Karachi. And then I think if we can control this port, that'll be a good encirclement on some more Japanese troops. Looks like we are going to get it. Perfect! See? Hey, and that works. And because we managed, to, we managed our supply carefully, my tanks were still able to move at full speed. All right, so now we should be able to kill all of them. In the meantime, if I want to, I guess we could start pushing down this way. This is going to give me a really wide front line, but that's fine because I have plenty of troops in reserve. And if I can control, let's say, a bunch of the ports, we can actually open the floodgates for um, for our allies, the, uh, you know, allies, to rush in and possibly support us, which would be great. Also, quick little encirclement we can get here around this mountain because he actually can't go north. Perfect. You guys should now be able to fight. Yep, he's losing supply and organization nice and quick. Push. Uh, you should be able to actually push a little bit here as well. He's trying to fight back. I want to pin you down so you can't go anywhere. I know we need to end this video, but give me a second. Give me a second. You can't rush the slaughtering of the Japanese Empire, alright? It's just rude. It's poor taste. Push here. You should get flanked and destroyed. You guys push here. Don't let him go anywhere. All right, making solid progress down over here. We're going to get these ports. That means we're going to have plenty of supply. Actually, what I could do... I might take one of you and actually just cut across. If there are any troops in southern India, they'll all be captured and encircled. Let's have you guys finish them off. Okay, we actually could also push this way and possibly encircle all of these troops because we can control this side of the mountain pass. We already control this. All of these guys will get encircled if I can move right here and just control this area. That works. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to do that exactly. Alright, so this is going to be the crushing of the Japanese Western Front. Then we just have to worry about Siberia. But as we continue to get our infrastructure up and running, we should be able to mount a good offense and start pushing down toward Korea. Alright, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.